upon a time, I was a chubby kid. I looked just like this most of my childhood, man. I was very insecure, and I did not feel attractive in the slightest. Just to glow up and be a six foot five male model. So today is gonna be a full blown story time from my childhood to my male model glow up. How I did everything in my entire looks maxing journey. Without further ado, let's get it. Obviously, my journey began as that little chubby kid, and it started after my first crush rejected me. So this, like, shattered my heart, kind of made me closed off to everybody, and I got obsessed with losing the weight. Because I saw all my peers, all my friends that I went to school with, they were all skinny, they had abs just naturally, and I had these man boobies, and I wanted to lose them. The thing is, I would ask everybody, like my family, the gym teacher, how to lose the weight, how to get skinny, no one would give me a clear-cut answer. So... I took matters into my own hands. I started starving myself. I had a very intense caloric restriction just because it felt natural. And then in addition to this, I started playing basketball like eight hours a day. So I did this after like one, two years, I lost all the weight to where I got pretty skinny, but I was skinny fat. I was not glowed up in the slightest, but it was better than the fat physique. Now during this time, this is when I first started books maxing, just naturally. I remember as a child, man, I had a list that I would write down every single night of things I wanted to change about myself. All right, I need to change my teeth. They need to be white, they need to be straight. I need a six pack, I need a better haircut, I need a tan, like, from like 13, man, I was obsessively writing this stuff down. I just kept going until I just checked off one thing at a time. Like my parents got me braces and then I got them off. And then I started just aggressively whitening them until they literally looked like a piece of paper. I had whiter teeth than anybody. I had an intensive skincare protocol. I started going to the most luxurious barber in my city with my own money that I was working for. And then I started actually the old money aesthetic. Like I'd strictly go to J. Crew, buy all these fancy khakis, button up shirts. And this was before I even had a physique. So I had better hair, better fashion, I was skinny. So at this point I was looking better than most people. But still wasn't good enough. I still wasn't all the way where I wanted to be. So I took things to the next level. My brother actually forced me. This wasn't really a personal decision. He kind of forced me to start exercising. So we started by doing calisthenics in the freezing cold during the winter time. In addition to this, he got me on some very natural health protocols. Like we were doing sprints a couple times a week. He got me drinking a gallon of raw milk every single day. And I trusted him, I trusted him. And you know what? It worked. I ended up growing like a foot. I went from five foot nine to six foot four, obviously. If you're familiar with the channel. So the raw milk, in my opinion, I think it filled out any nutrition deficiencies so I could maximize my potential. Now during this time, I actually grew up my hair for the first time in my life as well. And I started getting some weight from the raw milk just because I was eating so many calories. So I started my first cut and then I stopped the body weight stuff. And I started weight training in the gym. So I started getting real lean muscle. Then I started to cut, losing all the body fat to really good care of my hair. And this is when the aesthetics really started coming together. Then I started developing my bad boy fashion, started wearing my all black for the first time. I was obsessively going to Urban Outfitters when Urban Outfitters was popping. I was looking better than ever. My Instagram was popping off at the time too. And then this is whenever I had a friend from high school. She was popping off as a model. She was going all over the world modeling. She was on all these cruise ships, with all these billionaires. And then she sent me to her agency because she wanted me to start modeling too. She's like, all right, you look just like a male model now. So it's time for you to go. So I go there and my first contract was in Miami. This is when I first started modeling for the first time as a teenager. After all the looks maxing stuff. I take this video to remind you. If I did not put in any work, if I didn't have my social media presence, if I didn't have the fashion, if I didn't have the hair, the physique, I would not have started modeling to begin with. Now, a lot of it does come down to genetics, but tell me how many other kids are out there literally writing out every single thing they want to change about themselves from the age of 13. I was freaking obsessed. I was on a mission from a very young age. So when it comes to your looks, Max, and when it comes to your self-development, I believe you really need to take over for a period of time. The body's the temple, the physique, the looks, it's all the temple. It's gonna be the gateway to all your opportunities in this world. So obsess over it and then sustain it. That is it. Like spend one year obsessively getting lean, build some muscle, looks max, find a good haircut for your face shape, do everything and then sustain it and then watch the opportunities freaking come and then start stacking your bread after that. That's it, man. That's how I became a male model. Link in the description box for your free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, Austin Wayne. Candlestick.com for the best supplements in the fitness industry. Don't forget to subscribe. Best self improvement channel on YouTube. That's it. Peace.